Jim Holly, Supercross Live on supercrossonline.com. Look who I got with me, the champ in the outdoors, Dean Wilson, uh, switching it up a little bit this year. You're here at Anaheim, you're going to ride the West Coast. Uh, why the West as opposed to the East? Uh, I don't know. I mean, that's a good question. I don't make the, the, the decision, so... Uh, the big boss does, Mitch Payton. Exactly. Mitch makes the decision, but um, I don't know. I mean, I feel, I've been feeling really good at the test track, and sure. I think he's maybe seen that. And, um, you know, I've never done the West Coast before, and this is my last year lights. So, sure. yeah, I mean, he made the decision to for me to go West, and I'm uh, teammates with Tyler, so that, that'll be cool. And um, I don't know. I'm really looking forward to it, though. I mean, I've came here so many times and watched my whole life, you know, and uh, to come and race, it's pretty cool. It's probably a good thing you're riding the West. I mean, you know, you're transitioning up that 450. You know what the East Coaster tracks are like, but it's good to get a season under your belt on a lights bike before you tackle the, uh, the Supercross series. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, to come and experience all the stadiums, I know it's not really much like, you know, that big of a deal, but, you know, it's just something cool. And it's, you know, the part that I really like about it is you can, I can stay at my own house at the majority of the rounds, you know, there's a lot of races where I can just sleep in my own bed and, and kind of just do the same routine as if I was going to the Cali track, you know, but I just got to drive 20 minutes farther. So it's pretty cool and uh, I'm just really happy to be on the West Coast. How's the health? I, I know after that last national you had a, a navicular problem, you're all 100%? Yeah, I broke my rest um, at the national and, um, you know, I, I raced the nations and that was tough, racing it with a broken wrist, but after it got surgery and, um, you know, it's all good. First day back Supercross, so I sprained both my ankles and split my chin open right here. So I was out for another couple of weeks after that, and I've actually only been riding since uh, Supercross since December. But um, I'm feeling good, so we'll just see where, where it goes.